Hey, it's Patrick from JMP Cycles, and this is our road test review of the Senna 10C Pro. Now, right away, let's cover a few high level specs before we get into the actual usage that uh, I put this thing through over the summer and kind of give you a little more of an in depth look of what it's like to actually use one. So, you can talk to up to four people with the Senna 10C Pro, and it's Bluetooth and Wi Fi. Basically, you can put an app on your phone. You can connect the unit to it to kind of set up your camera shot. It has an adjustment on the camera. The curvature of your helmet will kind of set that camera at an angle and you can adjust that shot back as well as up and down. You can use the app on your phone. It'll Wi-Fi to your phone so you can see your shot. And then from there, you can also upload to your favorite social media site, delete them, share them, whatever you want to do. So that's a nice little piece of functionality about it. Through that Bluetooth on your phone, It'll actually play music through there, which is another cool feature. Another thing that I didn't really realize until I used it and watched back some of the footage that it has an audio feature to where if you're playing music and talking or recording, it laces all that audio together. So you could, um, in essence, put a soundtrack to what you're videoing. So uh, 1440 at 30 frames a second, but I prefer the 1080 at 60 frames a second. And that's kind of like the high level specs as a snapshot. Communication devices uh, in general, I was kind of slow to adapt to because I always thought of them as like a phone call, right? Like, why do I wanna take a phone call in my helmet? And I don't. But now with something like the Senna 10C Pro, that's honestly probably the lowest level of use I have for the communication device is, take, is taking a phone call. Um, as far as talking to other riders, that was also something I didn't really think about too much until a few specific situations. Now, to go back when we started with this, we took this down to Mexico on our trip to EDR. And I'll throw that link in there for you guys if you wanna see that video. But we, I took an FTR all the way down to Mexico and back, and we, that was the first time I used this particular unit. Now, where I can say that these communication devices come in super handy, is talking to the other riders in aggressive riding situations or in traffic situations. So if you're riding really aggressively with blind corners, if you're the lead rider, you can tell somebody that it's okay to pass if they couldn't possibly see or no, don't go yet, things like that. Or in traffic, again, the lead rider can tell you if something's happened, if there's something in the road, or possibly one of the riders behind you can say something's coming up, there's an ambulance, you need to get over. So in those situations, I found it very, very helpful. One of the things I use most it's playing music. Uh, I'm a music in the helmet dude all the time, even just commuting around town. And this is really nice not to have a headphone cord hanging down. Now, one of the biggest questions I always had with them was, is it going to be loud enough? And over the years, they've gotten better. And the Santa Tensi Pro is probably the best speakers I've used. But I will say it's going to be largely contingent on how noisy your helmet is. If you have a noisy helmet or if you have an ill-fitting helmet that's maybe a little bit too big, most of the wind in a helmet kind of comes up underneath. And that's going to affect the, how much volume you get out of your helmet. Like I said, I rode all the way to Mexico. I listened to podcasts. I listened to music. Um, I did have it cranked a little bit up, but I, th there were times where it definitely was not all the way up. But in places you're gonna have more wind noise on the highway, 85, 90 miles an hour, you're gonna have to turn it up. But that's one of the things I really liked uh, about this was volume control on the unit. You just, you just take the wheel and you just roll it really easily and volume up, volume down. Um, Control of these uh, comm units can be a little bit tricky, and they did a really good job at this one, being able to, um, like things like volume control, control the camera. So that's the other piece that I was really interested in, was the integration of a camera. And it, like I said, it does record in 1080, but I will say it's not as good as far as like the quality of the picture you're gonna get from like a GoPro. But the counterpoint to that is you can't listen to music and talk to your friends on your GoPro. So there is a little bit of give and take here, but if unless you're just super picky about the quality of your video, this is going to be great. 1080 at 60 frames a second is more than useful for most people, and it's very easy to actuate the camera with the button on the top. The other thing I found really helpful was you can just snap a photo up there. You can either go to video with just a touch on the top of this, or you can, or you can just bam, take a picture. And I, the other thing I like is the audible, you know, it's obviously a fake camera noise because this is a digital camera, but the little 
you know that you positively took a picture. Also, the feedback, when you turn on the, on, the, on the video camera and turn it off, there's a voice in there telling you that it's on or that it's off, which is really nice. But another thing you don't get with a lot of action cams, if they're mounted on the outside of your helmet, even if they beep when you turn them on or off, sometimes you don't know if you're recording. I can't tell you how many times with the GoPro I thought I was recording and wasn't, or I was recording when I didn't want to and burn up an SD card. Recording. This is very, very positive engagement. You can hear in your helmet when you're turning it on, when you're turning it off. Even if you're listening to music, you can still hear the voice tell you if it's on or off. Overall, I've used this on a number of different helmets now. The install is very easy. We have an install video. Um, I'll throw that link in there as well so you guys can see the install, how, how slick it really is. And I really enjoyed the use of this. Like I said, it's easy to integrate with your phone. It's nice to always have the camera uh, on if you want to, if you're doing it for safety, if you're a commuter, if you're kind of recording your ride to work, or if you just see something really, really cool coming around the corner, it's really easy just to reach up there, hit the button, either take a picture or start the video, and you always have tunes on. So overall, uh, I loved having this thing on there. I probably don't use it as much as I should, because sometimes I forget it's there, to be honest with you. If I'm listening to music, oh, I should have taken a picture of that. I should really use this more. Good product from Cena. I'll be using more of it for sure, as always. If you have any questions, feel free to comment in the comment section and go ride those motorcycles.